Randy Vasquez on the mound tonight for the Padres in game one. And for the right hander Randy Vasquez the uh, third stint with San Diego and you see the uh, innings pitch 12 a dozen 11 strikeouts. Charlie Blackman in on the left side to lead it off here for the Rocks. 2 2 pitch coming to Charlie Blackman. And a fly ball headed to deep right center field. Merrill going back and he'll make the catch in front of the 396 marker, running onto the dirt of the track to reel it in. He had to go a long way back there, almost to the wall to get that one. Flash look, grass, you can feel the track, and then securely gloving that one, taking away extra bases. Big league play right there. So one down, Ezekiel Tobar, the young shortstop, pops it up right side of the infield, Jay Cronenworth. Little stutter step makes the catch two down. Payoff pitch and a ground ball base hit through the right side, splitting Bogarts and Cronenworth. And aboard is Ryan McMahon with two down here in the first inning. Popped up, first base way. Cronenworth calling and catching out number three. Done with half an inning. The Padres are coming up in San Diego. Well, now Dakota Hudson begins his night against the former Marlin, the reigning batting champion, Luis Arise. No homers, eight RBIs. McMahon up close at third, and it's a ground ball up the middle. Tovar behind second has it and throws out Arise. This is on the ground at third, and two ground balls and two outs. This is on the ground of Montero. He said it's simple. You know, he, just like you said, Hugh, he's got to he's got to pound the strike zone and get the sinker down. You know, it was a very good start. Three ground balls for Dakota Hudson. No scores. We go to the second. And I want to bring up Brenton Doyle. The pitch is high. There's ball four. Good at bat there for Doyle, and he takes first base. There goes the runner. Doyle pitch is low. Throw to second and safe at second base is Brenton Doyle. But a stolen base and a runner in scoring position just like that. Doyle will go to third. That's the second out. And it'll be up to Elleris Montero. Up the middle and a diving stop by Kim. He'll have no play. Montero drives in the first run of the game. How much did that speed pay off with Doyle there? 1-0 Colorado. And then Montero with his 12th RBI of the year. And the Rockies get on the board first, ranging far to his left. Right now, even if he tries to be able to get up and make the throw, he's not going to get mocked. Two outs, nobody on. Xander Bogarts. This one hit a mile to left field. It got him going all right. Off the facing of the second deck in left. That ball got out in a hurry. Off the smoke sign just below the Callaway golf ball on a line. 111 off the bat. And Bogey now has homered in consecutive games as he tries to get going here offensively. Ties this game at one apiece. One down, Ezekiel Tovar. It's to Tovar, and that's lined down that left field line. That's a fair ball. It'll get to the corner. Profar picks it up in the corner. Easily into second base is Tovar. A big turn, but he will hold. Another extra base hit for Ezekiel Tovar. Really swinging the bat, Will. And the Rockies got that man at second with one down. A two down, and Elias Diaz. Back and picked nicely by Vasquez. He'll underhand it to first for the out that ends the inning. Hot shot, but Vasquez picks it. Tied at one. Brendan Rodgers right on right, and this will be a base hit into center field off the bat of Brendan Rodgers. This ball line to center field. Merrill's got to go back. Merrill almost misjudged that. Notice how deep he's playing. So he's about 15 steps from the wall. So it's a little bit easier if you do get a misery going back to some defenders prefer to play deep because you get a little bit better margin for error. That's still a nice recovery and a very athletic play. This ball down the right field line. We'll get to see Brendan run here. Though Tatis gets to it before it gets to the wall and he's going to hold Cave to a single. Here's Montero, another opportunity to drive in a run. Montero, this is left center. It's going to drop and it's going to run. Montero puts the Rockies back in front. Now rounding third. Here comes Cave. The throw, not going to get him. Montero looking to move up and he will. Elleris Montero has driven in all three Rockies runs. There's Charlie Blackman with the runner at third. And this is going to drop. And the Rockies have a fourth run. Stay hot, Chuck Nasty. Go a three-run fourth, and now Ezekiel Tovar. I thought Charlie may take off. He does, and he has a bag easily. That's his second of the year. 
This is to shallow center. Can Merrill get there? He's caught everything else. Then they let it drop to Tease and Merrill. They'll communicate. And Charlie Blackman scores the Rockies' fifth run. And I think there might have been some lack of communication there, and, and that's going to do it for the starting pitcher here. I think they both looked at each other and thought the other was going to take that. Tatis and Merrill, and the Rockies take advantage. Three and two, the pitch to McMahon. Swung on and missed, strike three. Maury Hone took care of him with a 97-mile-an-hour fastball. That'll end the inning, but the damage done. Rockies up 5-1. to one. Machado, Profar, and Bogarts. 2-2, two, two, and a routine ground ball to short. Tovar to Montero, one out with Profar coming up. 3-1 to count on Profar. And he pops it high in the air to shallow center. It is Tovar who wants it, and one hands it over his left shoulder. The wind pushed it a little bit at the end. 2-2 two, two swing and a miss. He got him with a good breaking ball. For Dakota, his second strikeout and a 1 2 3 4. Here's Machado, two outs, nobody on. 3 1 is inside ball four. Walk number three for Dakota Hudson. He's worked around the first two. We'll see about this one as Jerkson Profar comes to bat. In the air to deep right field. It is up, it is back, it is gone. Jerkson Profar with a two run home run. Padres back in it. It's 5 3 now, Colorado. Home run number seven of the year for Jerks and Profar. The off speed pitch to change up. It was a hanger, and he crushed it. Jackson Merrill will take a pitch upstairs. Ball one, a curveball. Jackson Merrill to deep right field. Back. Very gone. Padres have hit their third home run of the night, and we got ourselves a one run ball game in the bottom of the seventh inning. And Jackson Merrill loses it deep into the right field stands. Padres cut the lead to one on a blast from the rookie Jackson Merrill. Back to back walks allowed by Bird. Luis Arai is going to be the batter. This is a double play ball. There's one and there's the easy two. So the Rockies got what they desperately needed. Tying run at third but they're two outs. El Nino is 0 for 3. And he should be 0 for 4. McMahon will throw him out. What a job by Lawrence coming out of the pen. Ball four. Bases loaded. Third walk of the inning allowed by Justin Lawrence. Luis Campisano. Here's the 3-1. In the air to center. Doyle's there. And Justin Lawrence works out of it. Leadoff walk starts the bottom of the ninth. Rise tonight. 0 for 3 with a walk. In the air, shallow right. Cave makes the catch. Jake Cave lays out and makes a gorgeous catch. Kim at third, Tatis at second, Cronenworth at first, and Manny Machado will be next. And he'll bounce it to McMahon. The second for one, and the first for the double play. When all seemed lost, they find a way to win. It's five in a row.